Welcome back, everybody. My name is Ken. That's with an I, not an E. All right, we're back with WWE 2K20's My Career Mode. As we've seen in the last one, uh, they created a list about all the things they wanted to uh, achieve in the WWE. And they were remembering back whenever they... Uh, were in high school and how they were picked on for what they wanted to do and how Brooklyn Von Braun was mean to him. And now we know how Trey got his nickname from slipping and busting his booty on a tray. All right, without further ado, we are right here with AJ Styles and Natalia. All right, we can leave the lobby if we want. All right, let's see what AJ has to say. I still can't believe it's really all over for you and Red. I know. It is starting to sink in, though. Just this morning, I was thinking about that time we faced each other in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Man, that was brutal. Yeah. But, thanks to you in that match, now every time my jaw hurts, I know it's gonna rain. Really? Maybe you should get that checked out. <laughs> no way. You might be the champ who runs the camp, but I'm the champ who knows when it's dead. I don't think that's going to catch on, but okay. Yeah, that doesn't quite have the same ring to it. Let's play the match. Hey, pull that match up Let's on see your phone it. if you don't mind. Oh. Let's see us. Are we going to beat him? Or is he going to be immortal? <laughs> I don't know. Uh. I spoke to Trey and AJ before this match, and both of them ah, admitted that they cool. have a lot of experience in All right, come on, AJ. Woo! Matches. Taking that into oh. consideration, Trey did tell me oh. he used a rather unusual training method to prepare for tonight. He played hours and hours of Falls Count Anywhere matches on WWE 2K. There you yeah, go. Because nothing will prepare you oh, for the damn. brutal matches of your career. What like sitting on a couch playing video games all day and night? What an idiot. I'm so swole. <laughs> I like Keith Lee in this ring versus this man. I oh. saw that one coming. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. AJ Styles losing some grip here. Styles has to get it together. He knew he'd get hurt. In a match like this, you can't avoid it. Up and right back down, AJ. Well, let's see what we got on this ring. Well, guys, the referee should have it relatively easy here tonight because, as you know, in a false count anywhere match, anything goes. Turn right, AJ. Oh. Did you hear that crack? He's certainly looking in command. Beat you with this kendo stick. Are really going his way now. Everything in this oh, is damn. legal, and we have cameras all over the arena. So wherever these superstars' imagination takes oh. them, you won't miss any of the action. I miss. And you need all right, to right get up, get up, Donnie. Get up, like Donnie. This. You have to stay on the attack because fortunes can change with just one move. Yeah, especially in a situation where a limitless amount of real estate is your battleground. All the way over. It's very clear that the physicality of this match is taking a toll on AJ Styles. Let's go, Donnie. One, yeah, he can two, this thing three, anywhere, four. In or out of the ring. Oh man, AJ Styles may be wishing he was back. We're Japan almost got us a rally. Relax. Almost got us a. It's not looking good signature. for him. He's got to get out of that Reverse corner. Versus getting a good chicken. Oh my God. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spot. Signature time. What is our signature, you might ask? Well, it's the most devastating move in all of sports and entertainment. No! No! Not the Rob Bottom of Spear! Woo! Alright! He has him right where he wants him. Alright, we're gonna set him up. We're gonna set him up. It's over. It is over. Uh oh! Ah! Donnie's prediction. Let's go. One, two, three. Just like that. Donnie. What a win. Let's watch again how AJ Styles was toppled tonight. Donnie put an end to the champ that runs the camp. Because I in a champ that knows when to stand. 
Let's go. Here is your winner, Doc Don. Doc Don, boy. No Woo! AJ Styles is going to have to work a little bit harder to become a true contender in the WWE. I have no doubt he will. And as we expected, WWE Extreme Rules has been a brutal evening. That was great. Dun, 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 dun. All right, let's see what Natalia has to say. I just wanted to congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. That doesn't really sound that... She kind of sounds snotty, but okay. Thanks, Natty. I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Still sounds like we have some differences. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. Oh, damn. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. You threw me into a road case. Ha! Probably deserved it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what were we even fighting about? The usual stuff. Who was better, the title, you saying you were the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. Ah, I don't really feel that fight that one. We're Canadian? But I'm from... Okay. We all said some crazy stuff over the years, but no need to go into it right now. Thanks again for the kind words, Natty. All right. Let's go. Let's go somewhere. Look at us. Look at that suit. It's X-Pac. Just keep walking. We don't have time. X -Pac! We always have time for X-Pac. Besides, you can't just ignore a WWE Hall of Famer. I can. Trey. Pac. What's going on? Hey, guys. Looking good. You too. Thanks. I'm on this new mustard-only diet. As in mustard is the only condiment you use? No. As in I only eat mustard. I've already dropped like seven pounds. That's interesting. But enough about me. This is your big night. I swear it was just like yesterday when I first saw you two on the indie scene. Yeah, at that point we were only a couple years in. And I was about 30 years in. But I could still go today if I had to. I'm telling you, this diet's legit. I guess you could say you can cut the mustard, huh? I don't think that's a saying. Anyway, <laughs> we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. So, thanks. I'm sure you'd have been fine with it without my help. Trey, I don't think I can say the same for you. You were kind of the drizzling craps back then. No offense. I was the what? No, it's true. And I wasn't just a drizzle. I was more like a torrential downpour of crap. Red was always ahead of me from the moment we started training. I was a drizzle of crap. I was a crap shoot. You can use this credit card for whatever you need, but we keep the reward points. I'm about 10,000 short of a free trip to someplace warm, and you're gonna help me get there. Deal? Got it. We are gonna miss no. you so much. Why are you in the car? Here? I just what? had to be close to you one more time. It, it feels like yesterday we got that call. There was a boy in Denver who was ready to be adopted, and now you're all grown up and. Going off to college, I, I, I just can't believe it. I know. It's hard for me to believe, too. We'll come visit soon, okay? No, don't. I mean, a, a big part of college is learning independence, and if you're visiting all the time, then I'll never be able to do that. Just be smart about the credit card, okay? Like, if there's a big keg party, put it all on the card and have everyone pay you back in cash. That way, I'll be headed for that free beach trip in no time. Hey, maybe we could go on spring break together. Frank? I have to go. Okay, drive safe. This is the part where you get out of the car. <laughs> right. Call us when you get to school. We love you, Denver. What? My name's Denver. Did they get me out of Denver? Do you believe this? We're finally doing it. And Our we're very driving. First list item. Train at the dungeon. Are you excited as I am? 
I don't think that's possible, considering you've already had three energy drinks before we've even left town. <laughs> but this is going to be cool. I know. Think about how many top superstars came through Calgary. The Hearts, Edge, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those legends. Everyone has to start somewhere though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Just like that? Just like that. Huh. Well, that's good. Hey, pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that sign? Our faces are going to be on it someday. You really think we can become more famous than the inventor of the paper toilet seat cover? He put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE, so will we. Well, okay. <laughs> I guess she's the, uh, I don't know. All right, see what Red's is talking about. <coughs> All right. Time for a road trip game. If you could face anyone who trained in Calgary in a dream match, who would it be? Hmm. Isn't it a little early for road trip games? We still have like 2,000 miles to go. Come on, I'll get you started with some options. How about Bret Hart, Jake the Snake, or Rowdy Roddy Piper? Uh, easily, I don't want to play. <laughs> mm. Okay, fine, be a grump. But let me know if you want to play later. I'm not grumpy, I just don't want to play it. All right, keep driving to Calgary. Let's go see some Brett Hardy. Oh, uh, right as this house. This is it, the home of the famous dungeon. I swear, I can almost hear the wrestlers of the past groaning in pain. <laughs> That's my stomach. For the past two days, I've had nothing but moose jerky, maple puffs, and poutine. Yikes. What, poutine? Look, I just want to say, I know I've been a little skeptical, but now that we're here, I can see us doing this. I mean, once Bret Hart hears how far we drove, he's gonna have no choice but to welcome us right in for training. So, thanks for pushing me on this. Of course. Well, here we go. <sighs> hey there. I bet you're here for Bret Hart, eh? Uh, hello? Hey. <laughs> uh, and yes, he's going to train us to be wrestlers. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Is Brett home right now? He is! Hang on a sec. Brett! Two lovely people are here for wrestling training! He'll be right down. I'm sure he's just putting his tights on, gelling up his hair, finding his sunglasses. He's gotta look the part, you know. Of course. So are you Brett's... housekeeper? Okay, seriously, guys? I'm messing with you. So Brett's not home? No. And he hasn't been for years. The well, hearts don't live here anymore. That was a waste of gas. Uh, you said... This kind of thing <laughs> happens like once a month. And I like to have a little fun when I break the news. How is that fun? We just spent three days driving here. I gave, I gave myself severe stomach issues. Inside. At this point, we'd settle for one of the more obscure Hart brothers or even a distant cousin. Like I said, none of them are here. You seem like nice kids. Stupid, but nice. Hey! Next time... Do some research before you decide to drive all the way up here. Jeez. So wow. much for Canadian hospitality. I thought you said you checked all this out online. I did. I mean, I searched for dungeon and wrestling, and then some really weird stuff came up, and I kind of got sidetracked. Point being, don't look at my browser history. But oh, hey, God. We came all the way here. <laughs> we should at least get a picture. Eh, can we do another one? I was making a weird face, probably on account of the stomach pain. Maybe you were right about us trying to become wrestlers. We've already failed at the first thing on our list. And maybe we're not cut out for this. Hey, wait, we can't just give up that easily. I have an idea! Idea! 
So you drove all the way to Calgary thinking you were going to train with Bret Hart? I've done some stupid stuff in my life, but that takes the cake. <laughs> Thanks, x -Pac. It wasn't our finest moment. Appreciate you. But since I had a dad who only looked at the rewards section on the credit card bill, we were able to stay in Calgary and learn from a former wrestler who had, at least according to him, trained with the hearts back in the day. I think he just ran next to one on a treadmill once. So that's how you guys hooked up with Riley Flash. Yeah. After striking out at the dungeon, it was kind of our only option. Even though Riley can be a bit much sometimes, he gave us the foundation we needed to get here today. He also gave us ringworm with his dirty mats, but that's a whole other story. Hmm. Hmm. Ringworms with the mats. All right. Come here, Jose! Oh, damn. Ow! Bitch. Oh! Yeah! Alright. Get her to red health. Okay, let's go. Samoan Chubby! Look at this. Is this duct tape? Look, look at. Who put a hole in the man's ring? Well, same move, damn it. I am the almighty her. Look at El Mago Jr. over there just chilling. Where are you going? No. Yeah, yeah, go. Ah, oh, right to the head. Come on. Come on. Ah, I tell you. Another Samoan drop because I guess I only know two moves. There we go. Stomp. Chosey okay. Jane! Get. Yeah. Oh, I missed. All right, Josie Jade's taking the pound and turning me up. Josie Jade, same thing, right? Yes, this is ah, kick to the face. Ah, belly to belly. All right, Josie Jane, when he gets red health, you're already yellow. Just need to. Ah, oh. Come here, Riley Flash Academy. Oh, it is. Ugh, get Come here. Ugh. Alright. Perform a grapple against Josie Jane standing in the ring. Oop. Sorry, Josie. Yay, the silent count. We're on the count of silence. Five! Come on, Josie. Come on, Josie! Woo! I'm the king! Up oh, seven. Get in here. What? I just did. Come here, no. There it is. Okay. Pay attention! The Mago's got you in the sleeper! Get your feet up on the turnbuckle! Push off and roll backwards! You can pin him like that! What? This man is dumb. <laughs> Send this man back down to Denver. <coughs> we don't need him. It's all right. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. We'll get him next time. All right. You good? <coughs> we suck at wrestling. Trey sucks. Guys, come here. We need to talk. Is it about your disgusting ring mat? Because I feel like it's making me itch all over. Hey! He just slapped me! Play <laughs> into an imaginary crowd. It cost you the uh... match. Red, great job. Keep it up. Remind me why I show up here every day to get tortured? 
That's not torture if you're paying for it. Facts. Now, what I didn't tell you was that match was actually a tryout. For what? Is WWE coming to town? Not quite. It was a tryout for the local Winterfest that's coming up. The organizers asked me to put on a wrestling event. That's great. Who are we gonna face? Who? I wouldn't mind a rematch against those two. Slow down. After what I just saw, only one of you was ready for their first official match. Sorry, Red. You'll get your chance soon. Uh, Red's the one who's ready, not you, doughhead. What? When it comes to in-ring ability, Red's got you beat by a kilometer. Isn't that less than a mile? Oh, thanks for the conversion, Albert Asswipe. <laughs> Bottom line, you're <laughs> too Asswipe. focused on the entertainment side of things. Well, maybe you weren't focused enough on the entertainment side of things. Didn't you only appear in WWE, like, three times? Uh, four, if you count the time I helped carry Macho Man to the ring on his fancy chair gimmick. You mean a sedan? No, it was a chair, not a car. Either way, I was in <laughs> WWE four more times than you'll ever be. I'll make it there someday. It's on our list. Look at the size of my oh, arms. yeah, and someday I'm gonna poop golden nuggets. Oh, no offense, Red. Whatever. You'll see. Congrats on getting your first match. You know I'll be there cheering you on. Thanks. I know. Uh, I need to thin this man out on, a bit. Since you like running your mouth so much, you can accompany her to the ring as a manager. That actually might be a better fit for you long term. A manager? That's not what I'm here for. You'll figure this out. I know it. Oh, one more thing. I need to know what to call you so they can advertise the event. That's easy. I'm sticking with Red. Kids started calling me that in high school because of my temper, but I'm gonna turn it into something positive. Okay. Man, what about you? Sticking with Denver? Mm, I don't know. Sounds too regional. And Omli. I know. How about uh, Albert Asswipe? Nah. Carl Botch, on account of all the moves you botch. <laughs> That's good. I one. like that one. <laughs> I thought I'd pay tribute to my wonderful trainer and call myself Riley Flash Jr. Oh, that ain't happening. I look like I'm brown. Trey! No, no, don't listen to her. I kind of like that. And you can spell it T R E, so it's kind of like three in Spanish, as in getting a three count to win a match. Which probably won't happen very often for you, <laughs> but you get it, right? Yeah, I get it. We paid the kid. And Trey, it is. Slander by this man. Thanks it looks a like lot. A... No problem, Trey. <laughs> Tiger King knockoff. And hey, I just realized we can cross something off our list. Come up with awesome wrestling names. I don't know about the awesome part. I gotta slim my man's down. He's looking too jacked. Don't want people to be judging me on that. Alrighty. We got Rookie 8. Alright, check it out. Uh, da, 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 da. Riley Flash is Wrestling Academy. Okay, we got Mago Jr. and Jesse Jen. Alrighty. Chapter 2 is complete. Let's see what's next. Um... Alrighty, that's gonna do it for me. I'm gonna go in, change up my old boy for old Trey, get him slimmed down. He's too buff. Alright, this is Ken. I'll catch you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you.